Those bills are set down for first reading. The Acting Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I move that this House congratulate Her Majesty the Queen on the occasion of her becoming a longest reign. Order, order, order. The, the member just needs to seek leave to move oh, the motion. Mr. Speak, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to move a motion without notice that the House congratulate Her Majesty the Queen on the occasion of her becoming the longest reigning British monarch. Is there any objection to that course of action being followed? There is none. The Acting Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I move that this House congratulate Her Majesty the Queen on the occasion of her becoming the longest reigning British monarch. On the 9th of September 2015, Queen Elizabeth II became the longest reigning monarch in British history. Previously, Queen Victoria held that record, reigning for 23,226 days. For well, 63 years and seven months, Queen Elizabeth surpasses that record today. Uh, this is a significant moment for the sovereign personally and for Britain and the other 15 nations of the realm. However, I'd like to note that Her Majesty has already achieved the status of longest reigning monarch of New Zealand. Queen Victoria's reign over New Zealand began in 1840, uh, later than her reign in Britain, which began in 1837. Queen Elizabeth surpassed her record as the longest reigning monarch of New Zealand in 2012, uh, the year of extended celebrations of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. When the Prince of Wales was here as part of the Jubilee, he noted the fact uh, that it was also the occasion of the Queen becoming New Zealand's longest reigning monarch. To reign is also to serve, and the Queen is widely respected by monarchists and republicans alike as embodying a lifetime of service. She was only 25 years old when she ascended to the throne and became Queen of New Zealand. In her speech then, she promised to follow the example of service and devotion provided by her father, King George VI. She has certainly fulfilled that promise. <clears throat> Throughout more than six decades of, her, of extreme change, she has steadfastly served the people of her realm. I've had the honour to meet Her Majesty on a number of occasions and know that she has a deep knowledge and interest in the history and affairs of New Zealand and cares sincerely for the welfare of this nation. The Queen has asked for there to be no particular celebrations of this occasion uh, and for it to be treated reverently out of respect for the memory of Queen Victoria and the other monarchs who have gone before. It is a normal working day for the Queen, another day in her lifetime of duty and service. And so I'll keep these comments brief and merely conclude by offering congratulations to the Queen, both as Queen of New Zealand and as the longest reigning British monarch. The question, the question is that the motion be agreed to. Mr. Speaker. Andrew 